you know, my first crush, you know, that's another story for another time. But the first time I really liked the chick, I'm just call her, I'm just call her car. I like this chick and like most simps, when I liked the chick, I did the simp stuff. You know, I immediately start paying a lot of attention to her, telling her all the stuff I like, fawning after, running behind her, young boy stuff. I was in like the sixth, seventh grade. Long and short of it, every chick that I ever liked, I automatically start simping for. Now, here's the thing. I have girls that like me, but, you know, I, I could, you know, man up for them because I wasn't interested. But as soon as my feelings started getting involved, it was almost like I became a woman. So let me fast forward. What happened with Car? Car ended up, I started, she was my girlfriend. Check the box. And you'd be like, yes and no. We're like in eighth grade by this time. And like most simps, she got tired of me like that. So she broke up, broke my little heart, shattered me, destroyed me. No men around, didn't know what to do. No one really talked to. Somebody talked about this stuff in the stuff in the eighties. Luckily, testosterone kicked in. And then this same, this chick I was calling left and right. This is back when you call people and, and you know, you get a busy signal. You, you know, the stuff we used to have to do on the phone, you get the busy signal call back. You, there was no caller ID, you know, man, it was crazy. So anyway, after my testosterone kicked in, I got pissed off at this chick. I was like, I got to a point to where I got over her. Well, I ran into her the next year in 10th grade. She remembered the simp version of me. I grew nine inches over the summer. So I went from being five feet tall, roughly in eighth grade, to five, nine in three months. Three inches, over, nine inches over the summer. Incredible. So all of a sudden, I'm Big Willie. So all of a sudden, these chicks that I, that chick that I used to like, who I simped out for, all of a sudden, she was throwing herself at me. But I didn't care no more. So she called me, and I wouldn't answer the phone. Or I'd talk to her, and I'd just blow her off. I learned something right here. This is almost like a laboratory experiment because I'm a technically, I'm a strategic minded person, technical minded person. I start putting this stuff through scientific process. If nice got me bad behavior, bad seemed to get me good behavior. So I started being more bad. Here's what I learned. The worse I treated women, the more they liked me. Now let me make the caveat. It was called worse. What it really was is I was treating women like a man treats a woman. That's what I was doing. I wasn't being a simp. I was standing up. I was saying what I wanted, was not making any qualifying statements, you know, not beating around the bush. If it was my way at a highway, you lucky to be around me. This is what I want out of the world. She became everything I ever wanted her to be in a girlfriend after I started being a jerk to her, a cocky, intelligent, and arrogant. That's what I was told. It was cocky, intelligent, arrogant. So I got these battling things going on inside me. So here's what ends up happening. You know, we go on a band trip. I smash. I, I still don't want to deal with her. I mean, I smash her, you know, and I'm like, okay, well, I put this chick up on the pedestal, right? And she didn't want to have nothing to do with me. When I start treating her bad, like I was told was bad, put a caveat there. All of a sudden, she wanted to get with me. I smashed. After I smashed, guess what? She smashed the dude I was, I was rooming with. So I saw right there, full force, female nature. I'm like, I put you up on a pedestal, treated you like a queen and a goddess or whatever, whatever. Here's how you treated me. I treat you like a badly. You falling all over me, telling me everything I want, let me smash. Then you let this dude smash. Right then I learned I, what I was taught was wrong. Women do not want nice guys. What we've been taught is nice. Women want strong, secure, assertive men who know what they want. We have been told all our lives that this stuff is bad and it's not. And you see even our young boys in school on Ritalin and all these other kind of drugs to really tamp down male behavior. I'm talking to the guys who want to learn how to get the women you want. First thing you need to do is understand most, not most, everything you've ever been taught is wrong. Women like jerks, what they're called jerks. Women like that kind of behavior. If you were born after 1970, that is hard to accept because we were raised in a generation of equal rights, but you got to learn it. But at least for me and a lot of other guys, we got a chance to do some infield experiments on this stuff. So when I went to high school, when I went to college, I just let it all hang out. 
you know, I had a girlfriend in high school who I turned around and simped for. So you was either simping or pimping. It was either one or the other. But a lot of this stuff men have been told was wrong. Nice guys finish last. I've been a nice guy. Every time I was a nice guy, I finished beyond last. I never even finished. When I was just a guy who just said, forget it, I'm going to just be this, I'm, I'm going to just be a jerk, a cocky, intelligent, arrogant, the most success I've ever had with women. And that has been consistent teenage to now. So how do you do it? First off, you got to understand something. You got to undo your programming. You got to undo your programming, guys, because we've been programmed to think or oh, hold the door open for women, be chivalrous. Women don't want all that. Number two, you can't take advice from married people. Married people are living a completely different life. That don't mean that they're bad. They just, they're living a completely different life. Single people and married people have different motivations and different everything else. A married man is going to tell you different things because he has a wife. Women are the same. <laughs> Women are the same. Even listening to it, some guys are thinking, man, that sounds harsh or rude or sexist. That's what we've been programmed. That's what we've been taught. We've been told that a man being a man, being assertive, saying, you know, approaching a woman, being straight up direct is a, is a callous, arrogant thing to do. Well, guess what? I got more women that way than trying to be their friend. Anything else? When I would just walk up to a chick and say, look, uh, I'm trying to go home with you tonight. What's up? After they get over the initial shock that somebody said that to them, you know what ended up happening? I went home with them that night. Guess what? I didn't take her number. I gave her mine because I ain't going to call you and chase you. All this stuff is probably counter to your programming. They called you. They want you. Guys, we have to sit back and learn to reassert our manhood. And this is not a bad thing. This is actually a good thing. Let me just get to the personal aspects of this. When guys are acting like men, my grades were better. I was performing better at work. My relationships are better. Testosterone was up because even your, your sense of manhood is fulfilled. When we are the nice guy, simpish acting, weak beta males, no man feels good being that way. That's why I say you can't listen to married men because a lot of married men are beta men, uh, are been beta male. They don't want to hear it. But if you live by the term happy wife, happy life, like I did, I was a beta male in a marriage because that's what I was told and taught to be. And guess what? I ended up getting divorced because we had a 75% 75, 75 of divorces are filed by women. We've already went down the stats. Women don't want these things. Bottom line is this, guys. Women want guys who work confident. Women want guys who are self-assured, borderline. Women want guys borderline arrogant. I, I'm saying borderline, but they really do. They want arrogance. Here's what ends up happening. When a guy goes like that and self-actualizes, society does what it's going to do to basically get you back to say, oh, don't do that. Go back to being the nice guy because nice guys, they can control. Nice guys, you know, we can go ahead and get you to get married and have a white picket fence and and producing all the resources and all the other kind of stuff. And, you know, that's a, that's a whole thing for another time. So um, I get guys all the time asking me how to be more self-assured. A lot of the questions come down to guys really not being sure of themselves. A lot of men just aren't sure of themselves because most of us have had the male ego beat out of us or educated out of us or tamped down to where we question ourselves and doubt ourselves to where... If you like a woman or a young lady, you're made to feel intimidated or for some reason unsure. Like, I'm going to a dance. What should I do? Or what should I say? How do I get them to like me? Uh, the odds are in your favor, even as a young guy. You know, a woman is at her peak of hotness when she's in her teens. A teen, a woman peaks at 25. So they got from 14 to 25. And for 14 to 25, we're at the inverse. So it's an inversely proportional relationship. But when I started walking around thinking and believing that I was the man, that you were lucky that I'm spending time with you, you lucky that I chose you to even talk to, I have more women than I could, than I knew what to do with. Some guys may think, 
That's not anything to strive for. It's not so much as something to strive for. It's something as a guy you need to know about yourself. I've said it before, manhood is under general assault. It's under general assault. Men acting like men, men doing men's things are, are really frowned upon. Uh, so if you're a young guy, if, you, if you're a young guy, if you're not married, if you're a young guy in your teens, if you're in your early 20s, especially if you're not, if you've never been married, understand something. You are the prize. You are the prize, especially right now. If you're in a relationship, and unless you can 100% say you are the man in that relationship and your girlfriend, wife, significant other, whatever, is really supporting you, it's hard to feel completely like a man should feel. The issue is most guys have never felt that. So we don't even understand it. You know, when you hear guys saying some of the things I say just right now, it pro some guys is going to scratch like a raw nerve, like, oh, that's chauvinist, that's old school, that, you know, that sounds like a caveman. There's a reason there's so many pickup artists and all these other kind of stuff, and, and I'm not trying to teach you any pickup artist tricks. You notice I haven't used one technique or anything like that. I'm not saying anything. I'm just saying that simply this. Women like men who are confident, intelligent, assertive, know what they want, not afraid to go get it. Tell a woman what you want up front. 